By controlling the amount of air that comes out of our lungs, we can create more resonance and thus more variety of tone and colour in our voice and better projection for speaking in public. Hi, I'm Jimmy Cannon, singer and voice coach, nurturing confidence through the power of your voice so you can deliver your message with presence and authority. So before we talk about the amount of air that we're going to be using to speak with, let's make sure that we've got enough air in our lungs to start with. So let's talk about the, let's talk about the inhale, the taking a breath in. Hopefully you can see me, um, but it doesn't matter because I want you to focus on your belly. I want you to put your hands standing nice and, nice and open, uh, chest open, knees slightly bent, and I'd like you to put your hands on your belly. And I want to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus completely on the breath in. And I want you to think about your belly dropping. What's actually happening is that the, the diaphragm is contracting and the, we're releasing pressure from the lungs, allowing air to go, go into the lungs, which is ultimately going to give us much more uh, air to be able to control, to get that projection and resonance that we need when, we, when we're speaking. So nice, slow breath in through the nose. And we're going to think about the, the belly dropping as we breathe in. Here we go. Great, and let's just hold it for a few seconds. And I want you to release the air. Now I want you to release it with a shh, as if you're shooing a cow, saying shh to somebody in the library that's talking a lot. So I can take a breath in just quickly to show you. And then we're gonna let it out slowly, but quite forcefully. Shh. What's happening is that you're pushing the belly, which is pushing the diaphragm up and pushing the air out of the lungs. So there's one exercise or two exercises really about the inhale, letting the belly drop and fill the lungs and expand the rib cage to the sides and also the lower back. You might feel some of the transversal abdominus muscles there around the back, lower back here, relaxing and expanding here around the back, around the rib cage. So we can fill up the chest area here with air. And then we can use that to project and use more resonance if we need to when we're speaking. Of course, that might not be what you want to do. But uh, if you've met, you, you need to make sure that the air is there in the first place to be able to control the amount of air that comes out and control where the air is resonating. So whether it's resonating here, whether it's resonating there, or whether it's resonating here, or whether it's resonating down here is where we need to, we need to control. So firstly, make sure there's enough air in the lungs. And then secondly, control the rate and the amount of air with this one exercise, which is just the, what I call an elongated shh, shh, just like a balloon. If you'd like to see more videos about speaking and, and tips about public speaking, using the voice to create more presence and authority, subscribe to the link below. And also if you have any questions that you'd like answering, um, please put them in the comments also below as well.